Yo, 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 what's up Grapple Gang, I'm Cartoon Cory, and in today's video, we're gonna switch it up a bit and talk about Spongebob Easter eggs. These are all going to be awesome callbacks or references to classic Spongebob episodes, so let's get right into it! I just want me quarter, that seems to have hopped into your payphone here. Be warned, that payphone comes with a curse! Really? How much does the curse cost? First up is the episode, You're Going to Pay Phone, from season 13. I'm going to show clips of the actual Easter egg itself, but also clips showing what the Easter egg is referencing. All right, roll the footage. Bonjour, art lovers. Tonight, for your viewing enjoyment, we present a portrait painted in shades of green. This one is awesome. So back in the episode, The Two Faces of Squidward, we were introduced to Handsome Squidward. It's still not working. Maybe I'm not doing it hard enough. Uh. Yeah, Squidward, you're even more handsome now. Ah! Look at how hot Squidward looks. My boy looks Fresh, my dude, look at him, he's so handsome. Well, this episode and Handsome Squidward himself are referenced in You're Going to Pay Phone, as they appear as a statue at the beginning of the episode right here. Isn't that cool? That's not it for this episode, as there's also another callback to a banger classic episode. Take a look at this. Join me, boy, or you're fired. It doesn't seem right, but it feels so good. Oops, I dropped it in the toilet. Well, fish it up and I'll dry it with me gym socks. <laughs> I call it the Nasty Patty. Man, this one is just nostalgic. So back in the episode Nasty Patty, we were introduced to this, a Nasty Patty, a disgusting sandwich made up of a ton of just gnarly stuff used to potentially kill this health inspector. But anyways, the Nasty Patty, as you can see here, is referenced and makes a reappearance at the beginning of You're Going to Pay Phone. Really cool. Here's the real question though, guys. Would any of you eat a Nasty Patty? Would you eat one? I don't think I would. I'm not trying to end up like the health inspector in this scene, dead. Anyways though, let's head over to another episode with more Easter eggs. Now this one is a deep cut, so I know a lot of you guys aren't going to get it at first, but let's head back over to the episode, The Fry Cook Games. Here, take a look and pay attention to the referee. I declare these Fry Cook Games open! It's a beautiful day here at Bikini Bottom's Fast Food Coliseum. They come from everywhere, microwaves hum, Patties sizzle, and heat lamps keep the fast food spirit warm and soggy. Yeah, so this guy right here, the referee from the Fry Cook Games, he may seem kind of insignificant, but he's actually important for this Easter egg. As, take a look at this clip from the new Patrick Star episode, Stuntin, as he appears for the first time in like 20 years. This is crazy. Patrick Star versus a ferocious sea bear. To a clean, fair fight. <laughs> Bear seems to be getting tired. He's slowly going down. He's kissing the canvas. In a major upset, the winner is Patrick Star! Hey, it was nice to see our favorite referee again, but let's head over to another episode with more Easter eggs. You don't want to miss them. This ain't no talk show. It's an unnatural disaster. I am closing the curtains on this disgraceful act. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these ones are also from the Patrick Star Show, also from a new episode that came out very recently. I'm talking about Get Off My Lawny. Here's a clip of the first Easter egg, along with a clip showing what the Easter egg is referencing. Take a look at this, guys. It's awesome. <laughs> huh? Who's there? <laughs> It's just some of Squidward's art, if that's what you want to call it. 
Um, sir? Yes, boy? About my cousin's family. You didn't lie to me just to help your cousin get the job, did you? Because there were plenty of other relatives that got passed over for the job. Aye, tis true. Whatever. I even turned down my own three adorable nephews. So back in SpongeBob Season 6, we got the episode Stanley S. Squarepants, which is a pretty good episode. We were introduced to Stanley Squarepants, who's very annoying, but we were also introduced to Squidward's teenage cousin. Now, we haven't seen this character since Season 6, which is like 15 years ago, but this character makes his first appearance in years in Get Off My Lawn, as he's actually seen in one of the paintings in Granny Tentacle's house right here. So cool, dude look at this guy, and this episode has another easter egg. Here's a clip of it, along with a clip of what the easter egg is referencing. Once again, it's pretty cool, take a look at this. <laughs> we want more show! Oh, you want a show? How about I show you the way out? Good old Jim. When you worked here, the place had class. This one is another deep cut. So back in season five, we got the episode, The Original Fry Cook, which honestly is probably my favorite season five episode as we're introduced to Jim, but more importantly, we get flashbacks to the olden days of the Krusty Krab, back before SpongeBob was even working there. Now at this time, Squidward had a different style going on. As you can see, he had these long, luscious, blonde locks of hair. He looks very good. Too bad Squidward had to go bald, but anyways, he has this blonde hair. And this is referenced in the form of an easter egg in Get Off My Lawny, as one of Squidward's paintings depicts him with his blonde hair from the original Fry Cook. How cool is that? I love references to older episodes like this. It shows that the animators and writers keep up with the lore and history of SpongeBob. But let's keep it moving, guys. I've got more easter eggs than this, so stay tuned. Here's another episode full of easter eggs. Whoa! was the furthest thing from unbelievable. This next Easter egg is very subtle, so I don't blame some of you guys for not getting it right away, and it takes place in another brand new episode of SpongeBob Season 13, Fun Believable. This episode came out like a couple weeks ago. Here, take a look at the expressions on SpongeBob and Patrick's faces in this scene from the classic episode, Jellyfishing. This is a season one episode, so it goes way back, but pay attention to their facial expressions. This is important. <laughs> Like I said, remember those expressions as they're weirdly referenced in Fun Believable. As one of the faces seen on SpongeBob and Patrick, when they're about to do their Fun Believable stint, clearly and directly references their expressions while preparing to jellyfish back in jellyfishing. Here, take a look at the Easter egg with audio. It's really cool. <laughs> That's fun believable. This one's a bit of a weird one, but hey, it's still cool, and I love animation references like this. You know, it warms my heart, but this next Easter egg in another episode of SpongeBob is gonna warm your guys' heart even more. So let's head over to that episode. More Easter eggs, let's go. <laughs> Now you need to be a big fan of SpongeBob to even get this next Easter egg, so I'm just gonna show it really quickly. Here's the Easter egg along with a clip showing what the Easter egg is referencing. Here you go, take a look, guys. I can't flip patties anymore. You what? I'm losing money by the second here. I don't care what you do, but you better get back in a jiffy, or I'll just have to give your job to Sponge Tom here. I'm prepared. Ah, right on time. Looks like I won't be needing you after all, Sponge Tom. 
This guy right here is Sponge Tom, and he makes his first appearance in the episode Broken Alarm. Pretty much, SpongeBob keeps on getting to work late due to his alarm clock malfunctioning, so Sponge Tom over here fills in as a fry cook. Well, this is referenced in Spatula of the Heavens, another season 13 episode of SpongeBob that came out very recently, as after SpongeBob breaks his spatula, Mr. Krabs threatens to let Sponge Tom take SpongeBob's job if he doesn't get that thing fixed. It's funny because at the ending of the episode, Mr. Krabs almost gives Sponge Tom SpongeBob's job, but before he can, SpongeBob falls through the roof with a fixed spatula and crushes Sponge Tom. So maybe we won't see him again for a while, but what we are going to see in this video is our next episode full of Easter eggs. Let's keep it moving. Well, this is my stop. See y'all later. Get out now. Okay, so the Sponge Tom one was fun and all, but this next one is really cool, especially if you're a big fan of SpongeBob. It's going to hit. Back in season five, we got the SpongeBob special, Pest of the West, where we get a flashback to the old Western days of Bikini Bottom and get to see the ancestors of some of our favorite characters, like SpongeBob or Patrick. More importantly, though, we're introduced to the Krusty Cantina. Take a look at this clip. SpongeBob SquarePants. I've never even heard of him. Says here he saved the entire town of Deadeye Gulch. That's what Bikini Bottom was known as back in the Old West days. Business is good today. Now it's been like 15 years since Spongebob season 5, and we have not seen the Krusty Cantina since. That was, until the season 13 episode, A Skin Wrinkle in Time. As if you look closely, the Krusty Cantina appears in the background of Grandpa's encounter with the two cowboys. I love this reference. It's so cool to see the Krusty Cantina back, and I love that they used the Krusty Cantina. They could have just used any, like, Wild West themed area for the background, but I love that they used this as an opportunity to make an awesome callback to season five. Now, we're getting close to the end, but here's another episode from the SpongeBob universe with Easter eggs. Man, this is living. Too bad I can't see where I'm going. Ah! Quit whining. That's what bumpers are for. This next one is another The Patrick Star Show episode. I'm talking about Ollie Ollie Organ Free. This one is very sweet. Here's a clip of the Easter egg along with a clip of what the Easter egg is referencing. Show that footage, baby. Show them the clips. How am I gonna find something to replace my organs? <laughs> Now I can keep my food warm after I eat it. More organs! I forgive you. I take it back! There, my masterpiece. So as you just seen, there's this painting from the episode Unreal Estate. Remember this painting as it's referenced in Ollie Ollie Organ Free, specifically in this scene when Patrick eats the appliances in the kitchen. It's right there, and that is awesome, another callback. Now, that's going to do it for today's video, guys, but if you want more Easter eggs, click this video right here, where I cover tons of other Easter eggs. Here's even a secret for you guys, the Easter eggs I cover in this video are better than the Easter eggs in this video you just watched. So click it, click the video right now for more SpongeBob Easter egg goodness. If you're an old school fan like me, you'll love it. So click it, click the video, click it, do it right now, and I'll see you guys over there. Peace.